Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were spotted on their way to pay a visit to Oprah's Montecito mansion over the weekend. Exclusive photos show the erstwhile royals turning into the 70-acre property late Saturday afternoon accompanied by a woman believed to be the pair's friend, actress Janina Gattenkar. What looked like a baby car seat was strapped in next to Meghan, but it is unknown if either Lilibet or Archie were in the car to visit Auntie Opera. Sources told LNT Infinite, the trio spent an hour at the palatial estate and made the five-minute journey from their own Montecito home in a convoy of cars that included a Range Rover carrying security personnel. Herring was driving the lead car, while Meghan could be seen chatting to both occupants from the backseat. Another report, Prince Harry took a tumble at a recent polo match in California. The royal returned to the United States after visiting the United Kingdom for his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee. He stepped out for a polo match in Santa Barbara, near his home in Montecito, California recently. And, he was photographed, falling off his horse while playing the sport. But he was reportedly unscathed from the incident, according to the Daily Mail. He was photographed, chatting up famous pals, including Katherine McPhee and her husband, David Foster at the event as well Harry, and his wife Meghan Markle recently returned from the UK, where they celebrated the Queen's historic 70 years on the British throne during her Platinum Jubilee festivities earlier in June. The trip marked Meghan's first time to London in two years, following her. The trip marked Meghan's first time to London in two years, following her and Harry's decision to step down as senior working royals and move to California. LMT Infinite previously spoke with DailyMail.com Charlie Langston about how the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are perceived in the UK, after leading to live across the pond. I think the shock of Mexit has definitely worn off. I think the general feeling now among people in the UK is almost a kind of not knowing what will happen next. I think Meghan and Harry have continued to prove that they will throw curveballs at every available opportunity, whether that's an Oprah interview that kind of devastates the royal family, or whether it's an appearance on Ellen where, you know, Meghan is kind of playing the fool in a silly prank. Um, so the shock, yes, definitely worn off, but the apprehension is still there. I don't think anyone knows what they're going to do next, and that's still means there's a little bit of fear within the royal family especially you know they're kind of they've almost become like the thomas markle you know there was a time where no one knew what thomas markle was going to say next what he was going to do next what tv show he was going to appear on next and i think harry and Meghan have now kind of prompted that same feeling in the uk and especially within the royal family and i can imagine that behind closed doors buckingham palace's most senior advisors are still very nervous about what the two of them could say next. We obviously know that Harry is planning on writing a book and there is a huge amount of fear about what might be written in those pages. So we just have to wait and see. Stop. agree with our picks. Check out this other recent clip from LMT Infinite channel. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.